hi everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to see how to calculate the capacitance of a multi plate capacitor now in this case these are all parallel plates all are identical parallel plates and say each plate is of area a and the separation between each plate is also same and it is equal to d okay now suppose we are asked to calculate the capacitance of this system now see this is plate a plate b plate c plate d plate a is connected to terminal 1 plate b is connected to terminal 2 and suppose this applied potential difference is v okay now let us assume that this is this terminal is at potential v1 and this terminal is at potential minus v2 so the potential difference between these two terminals is v okay now see this if this is this plate is connected to this source of potential v1 that means both sides you will have the same potential so this side it is plus v1 this side also the potential will be plus v1 okay similarly if this is minus v2 so this plate is cut is supplied with a potential minus v2 so both sides will have same potential minus v2 this is also minus v2 now because of this charge plus v1 on this plate charge induced on this plate is say minus v3 potential is minus v3 so negative this is positive potential so positive charge this side negative potential will be negative charge will be induced so potential is taken to be minus v3 if this side is minus v3 this side it will be plus v3 now so this side will be equal potential so this side you will have potential plus v3 and this side the potential will be minus v3 okay now means the idea is see if a plate is connected to a source of potential both the sides will acquire same potential so this is potential v1 so both sides v1 this is connected to potential minus v2 so both sides negative potential in other plates potential will be based on charge due to charge induced due to electrostatic induction okay now see this is minus v2 so if you cut take the charge on this side induced due to this charge so this is negative this will be positive in that case this will be plus v3 so sign of the other plate will be reversed okay so now i have taken the sign on charge on this plate from this potential v1 you can take any way it doesn't matter you will get the same result so now we have assigned the charges on all the plates now based on this charge assigned we will form capacitors so so how will the capacitors be see this is plate a this is plate b this is c this is d so plate a this side the potential is plus v1 this side it is minus v3 so one capacitor will be formed between these two plates so this is this is a and this is c okay so a a this is plus v1 c is minus v3 okay so this is one capacitor then another capacitor will be formed here between plus v1 and minus v2 okay so this is plus v1 and minus v2 so that is between a and b so this is a this is b so this is plus v1 this is minus v2 another capacitor will be formed between d and b this is plus v3 this is minus v2 so this is this is d this is b this is minus v2 this is plus v3 okay so there will be formation of three capacitors so now let us connect them so v2 is connected to this terminal these two are in series so this is how the system will look so we will have two capacitors in series and this system is connected in parallel with 
this capacitor okay so now if seen see if each plate is of area a and plate separation is d then capacitance of one pair of capacitor will be c suppose it is equal to c naught so c naught will be equal to how much a epsilon naught by d okay now in this case these two capacitors are in series so the capacitance will be how much for this two it will be 1 by c naught plus 1 by c naught this is equal to 1 by c suppose it is c uh, c1 let it be okay so this is 1 by c1 is equal to 2 by c naught so it gives c1 is equal to c naught by 2 now this system is in parallel with this so equivalent capacitance c equivalent for the entire system will be this is in parallel with this this is also c naught so this is c naught by 2 plus c naught so that gives 3 c naught by 2 3 c naught by 2 but what is c naught c naught is a epsilon by d so this gives c equivalent is equal to 3 a epsilon naught divided by d so this is the equivalent capacitance of the system okay now if they ask you uh, about the potential or the charge on each capacitor so see if total potential so suppose v is the potential difference applied across the system so that means across this these two terminals the applied potential is v so suppose this is the battery so this is v okay so or say v naught let it be v naught v naught is the total potential now since this is v naught that means see this system this combined system they are in parallel so potential across this capacitor it will be v naught it will be v naught potential across this two capacitors is also v naught okay but the two capacitors have same capacitance they are in series see q is equal to cv they are in series so they will have same charge and uh, since they have same capacitance that means they will have same potential also so this potential across this will be v naught by 2 potential across this is also v naught by 2 and across this it is v naught so now we know the potential across each capacitor and from that you can calculate the charge on each capacitor because we know the capacitance of each capacitor system okay so this is how you can calculate the equivalent capacitance and you can also calculate the charge on each capacitor so this is this is how you have to handle the problem based on multi-plate capacitor i hope this concept is clear to you thank you